What's going on YouTube? This is Lance Planet here. Um, just wanted to show you how to utilize this program called Secrypt. Uh, basically, I've got it all installed on my computer now, and um, I set up a dummy file um, to show you how to use the program. Basically, what I use it for is I, util I utilize uh, the terminal, and I can edit my password file. Basically, I have a password file um, that's set up in a like a plain text. Um, format and I can edit my passwords right in the terminal and I use this program secret to encrypt that specific file so what I did was I created a, uh, a dummy here called test basically that's it right there um, and then really what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you how to utilize that program secret to encrypt your information here and then also um, just so you guys know I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, how to utilize uh, or how to manage your your file right from the terminal so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna open up the terminal here so there's a copy of the terminal and the the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're in the correct directory um, so the way you check your directory uh, if you guys aren't aware is just pwd and it'll tell you where you're at oh pwd pwd so basically it's just say users uh, Nicholas Land so basically what we want to do is we want to go to CD dot uh, CD um, desktop and then PWD should show us that okay we're at the we're at the desktop now so basically if you go to LS um, that will show you your files right on your desktop so we can see right here there's test um, so what I'm going to do is, now, if you wanted to open it, basically what you would do is you would just say nano, um, and then test dot, actually that's all you would have to do is just nano test because I don't have it as uh, test dot txt. Um, but anyways, this is what the, the file looks like in terminal, and you know, if I open it side by side here in my text editor, you can see that it's exactly the same. So. Uh, what's really nice about that is you don't actually have to open up that once you once you bury your uh, your file wherever you're gonna put it you know you can always manage it right from your terminal which is great so you know basically if you want to go ahead and just add something you would just say you know add and you know I got it set up with these little hash marks here so it's a little easier for me uh, uh, let's just say username 21 for the sake of argument and then fake password is my password so I've done that basically all you would do to save it you would just hit control and then say O. Oh. you'll say file name to write and then you hit enter and then when you cancel out of that basically you just control X and now you see if I go to this test here it'll show add username 21 fake password so uh, so that's how you that's how you manage your actual text file right from um, so then what we're gonna do now is because we're going to encrypt this so that if anybody were to see it you know they they wouldn't be able to make any sense basically this the command that you run here is secrypt and then you say test um, and then it, it'll say enter an encryption key and I'll just say my encryption key is test it'll say uh, repeat it and then you go test again okay it's now renamed to test.cpt which the CPT means now that it's been encrypted so if I go to run that same command nano and then test when you open it up we don't see anything well first of all the reason you don't see anything is because the extension on it is now CPT so control out of that and then basically if I go to nano.test CPT when you open that up that's what your file looks like it no longer has any plain text writing on there so nobody's able to really utilize or or break in I guess if you will there if, if they have access to it they can't see what's actually written on there so it's a great encryption tool um, and I've, I've tested it multiple ways. Basically, if you open this with, you know, let's just say the text, uh, let's go to um, a text, okay, text wrangler is what I use. If we go to open it with that, it basically, it, it's a bunch of 
gibberish, if you will. So, uh, really great tool. Um, now, another thing is, is now that you have that encrypted, um, basically, if you wanted to, like, query uh, a specific password from that file, basically, you would run another command, and that would be ccat, and then you would say test.cpt, and then you would say grep, uh, and then you would say grep, let's say, 21. <laughs> Um, oh, I, you know what I did? It, okay, it goes ccrypt, sorry, uh, dash c, uh, test.cpt, rep21, enter your uh, decryption key, which is what I had said already, and then basically, there it is. Once I put in my encryption key, you can see here that it only queried what had the word to, or the, the in this case the number 21 in it so you know you're able to basically pull your password information from just using this uh, ccrypt-c test.cpt um, you're able to pull out specific queries in there so uh, you know like I said I, I use this to manage my passwords it's great uh, it's been really nice uh, there's a couple of things I'd like to see in it but you know for for basically what I'm looking for this is this is pretty good stuff so uh, I wanted to put it out there for you guys because I don't know how many of you guys are are looking to do something like that uh, you know I've, I've searched quite a bit to to be able to do something quite like this and uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy that I can do it now. Um, and like I said before in the other video, basically this is just, it's something that's word of mouth. I want to get it out there and, you know, hopefully we can support this developer a little bit because I think he's got a really good program here. So uh, if you guys got any other questions, feel free to, uh, you know, leave me a comment, send me an email, something like that. You know, I'll be happy to help you out. Uh, it, it, there's a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once you get it, I think uh, I think you'll find it very useful. So... Uh, that's all I got for you now, um, and I'll see you again in the next video.